Thomas Graham was a Scottish chemist in the 1800s who determined something known as Graham's Law of Effusion, which is also known as Graham's Law of Diffusion. It states that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molecular weight. The formula looks like this, where R is the rate of diffusion and MW represents the molecular weight. All right, I said that it's known as Graham's Law of Effusion and Graham's Law of Diffusion. So what's the difference? Well, diffusion is the easiest to understand, so let's look at it first. Diffusion is the rate at which particles spread out. Let's say you're in the operating room and you take the top off a bottle of sevoflurane. The anesthetic will begin exiting the bottle and will spread throughout the room. That's diffusion. Effusion is the rate at which gas particles will escape through a tiny hole. So let's imagine a closed container that has a gas on one side and a solid divider in the middle. If you make a tiny hole in the divider, the gas particles will eventually make their way through the hole into the other side of the box. So effusion seems like a strange thing to care about, but the reason it matters is really because it's easier to measure the rate of effusion than it is to measure the rate of diffusion. You have this closed in box that you can sample more easily to get more accurate measurements. So if we go back to the formula, we can see that the rate of diffusion, R, is inversely proportional to the molecular weight. That means that as the molecular weight decreases, the rate at which the gas particles spread out increases. Basically, Graham's Law states that smaller particles spread out faster than larger particles.